anyway. <clears throat> Shalom, before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, for Kakarash, to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim Wa'akwa, learning and teaching the truth and sincerity. Another video through the Spirit, your brother Malak from GMS Detroit. Hey, for this one, you, hey, if there was a pain Olympics, the Israelites would have won it. All right, I'm going to be playing a couple clips. See, vocab, these so-called Christians, right, these anti-Christians, y'all are just telling us to love Jesus and love everybody. Well, this world doesn't love us. And in this world, we get treated like nothing but fun. We get treated worse than dog shit. At least you attempt to step over dog shit. We just get stepped on, all right? I'm going to be showing some clips. I'm going to be starting with, with your man's DMX. Uh, and his story is not unique. In fact, it's quite general. The fact that from the point in which we are born, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we receive obscene amounts of abuse and mistreatment from everything around us, including our own direct parents, and especially from the other nationalities of people upon the face of the earth. But right here, I'm going to be zeroing in how we come in, you know, into broken households and families. So immediately, all we know is pain and suffering. Hey, what DMX say? All I know is pain. All I know is rain. How can I maintain this mad shit on my brain, right? Well, let's let's get a glimpse of some of the pain and rain he was talking about. Uh, I used to get beat a lot, a lot of beat. I, I think that's why it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to sleep sometimes. I remember one time, she beat me with the broom and knocked out like two teeth. I'd go to school, I couldn't sit down. But we had a rule. By, by 14, you know, he, and that's, see, we're naturally mother -kins. The example of uh, Rebecca and Jacob is a, a good example of that, the story. Um, so we're going to go back to their houses at Beverly Hills, which they did while he went back to his drug addiction. Uh, but this is, lines up with the curses, the fact that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai would completely destroy and break us up internally as a people, even before we got captivated, even before we were taken hostage, you know, sold around the world, he told us that we was just we were gonna be utterly through. All right, let me get this one. Back up what he's going. Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 56 it says, "The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eye." shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter right so hey he felt that quite literally you know he he got this kurt directly and some of us have right um and there's a whole heap of curses in here and the big thing about it all is the fact that from the point that we were born and to the point that we die we are going to be in a cursed estate, suffering, all right? No nation has suffered like how the nation of Israel has suffered. That is without a doubt. Let me go to Daniel 9 and 12. And he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil for under the whole heaven hath not been done as hath been done upon Jerusalem all right referring to the people the Israelites nobody has gone through what we have gone through have other nations been in captivity yes have other nations you know had got beaten by their mama oh I'm sure but what other no other nation has been completely rooted out of the earth heritage stolen and taken mistreated for millennia, thousands of years, beaten down, stricken, lied on, an, an entire conglomerate of heathen have come together to make sure to keep us down at the bottom and themselves at the top. A mixture of lies and violence towards us. That hasn't happened to anybody else. That's just the fact of the matter. Now, Esau is going around oppressing everybody, but everybody on earth has came and fucked us uh fucked us off when i say us the negroes latinos and native americans the true biblical israelites and so now we find ourselves 
The only thing we in first place in is pain and suffering and losing. That's what we're winning in. We're winning to lose. Now, this song, I'm only going to play so much because I don't want them to take the video. You older brothers, you know, that are older than me, y'all know this one. Yo mama on crack rock. No, she not. Yo mama on crack rock. Yeah, I can't, you know, I can't play the whole thing, but you see what it is. Now my mama, your mama on crack rock. Hey. And it says 90 kids had to be so tough and have thick skin. Now, take an event. What happened? Why did 90 kids have to be tough? Why are 90 kids being told that their mothers are on crack? What you must do is go a decade prior. What? The 80s. What happened to the so-called black community in the 80s you have the mass introduction of crack cocaine by way of what the cia the federal government literally danilo blandone uh freeway rick ross uh rick ross uh coca coming up through nica nicaragua right the contra the iran contra scandal which is all full-blown by now uh gary webb released the dark alliance article i want to say 94 i might be incorrect right but he highlighted the connection the you know uh the trade for guns money and cocaine between america iran and nicaragua and how those drugs came to the americas and in particular flooded negro neighborhoods and created the entire crack epidemic of the 80s which many of our people and i my my family personally is broken because of crack cocaine and many of you brothers and sisters can attest to this all of us got them couple of them great uncles and great aunties and them that's doped out you know you see them once every once every five years and shit right at one of the family gatherings still wondering how the hell they alive they've been abusing their body for decades somehow still alive still shooting up and shit right Many of us, you know, that's not, uh, yeah, because I'd be, I'd be liking to find out what the hell happened to the family. So when I, when I get around the family, I'd be asking them questions, y'all. And I crack the sh sh Love Jesus. Huh? Love Jesus is going to fix it? Man. Let me keep it in check, man. I got another clip. Um, this right here. This fits what? What have we become? What have we become in this world? Let's go to Psalms. Love, G. We just gotta love Jesus. That's what that bitch has thing of okay. Love your neighbor. Well, our neighbor brought in crack cocaine to destroy my people. So now what? Fucking cunts. Psalms 44 and 14. Uh, I'll start at 13. Thou makest us a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a derision to them that are round about us. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the people. Right. <laughs> Crackhead. Dope fiend. Crack baby. Uh, 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 oh, what's that one? What's that one? Oh, what's that one? Not a rock. Oh, what's that one term, man? Not a jump off, not a not a pop off. What's that one, man? Damn, man. So I y'all y'all know all these terms, but these a hey, nigger, spick, beaner, tonto, prairie nigger, all these different phrases that have come upon who the Israelites. Another clip, you can relay it back to the first clip. Oh, oh my. A mother once again, um, which you know she's disciplining her daughter, right? But there's a. Uh, this is clearly, you know, a little bit across the line. Um, you can kind of sense the 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 inner jealousy that the mother might be having towards her daughter. You know, as she's aging out and her daughter is beginning to step into her uh, maturity, uh, it looks like there's a bit more than punishment going on here it looks like there's some resentment it looks like uh uh what is uh elder 
cost or call call this again I forget uh, the oversized t-shirts um, well, you got Shalandra uh, uh, damn what is it uh, how could I forget <laughs> how could I forget damn uh, damn me no you had your warning you had your chance i told you to listen i told you stop disobeying my rules i told you being cute ain't shit if you have no education i told you stop disobeying me i told you to listen and do as you're supposed to i told you to do good in school i told you to do your so i'm, I'm not gonna play the whole video because i might get flagged uh damn y'all help me out man big, not big bertha how can i forget the phrase Holy shit! Wait a minute. I gotta go to. I gotta go to Google. Uh, Y'all see, she's tearing her head up, uh, which the hair is the glory of a woman. Um, so, you know, she she tore her shit up. Um, apparently, she was doing something in class. Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Big Shirley. How could I forget, y'all? Big Shirley. Big Shirley. She pulled a Big Shirley on her, ripped all her hair out. Big Shirley, right? Uh, they sound like she, she sound like she's from one of the islands somewhere. So you got that right there. Then I got another one. That's crazy, man. They coming to take my nephew, man. Out of seven years. Mom released from jail. Court takes child from dad. The broken family court system. Yeah. Hey, and like I said, this I've I've witnessed things like this growing up. You know, dealing with the cousins and shit, family members, bro. Like straight up. <sighs> man y'all we're the israelites whether we like it or not these curses are on us and we don't need anybody's fucking permission to go through these curses neither regardless of what the fuck a motherfucker says we are getting we have been getting our heads fucking cracked especially these last couple centuries it is not random it is not happenstance it is because we are the people he sinned against our power and he's punished us and now this punishment is almost over and we're about to find ourselves in the top position and everybody's scared now. This boy don't know these people, boy. That motherfucking mama cry. Hey, we gonna make something happen, nephew. We gonna make something happen, G. So he clearly doesn't want to leave. Like, what the fuck is the problem? If mom's been in jail, how, what the fuck? She's not, how is she even fit to, I don't know, see? Good old fucking America. Vocab, do something. Vocab, what are we supposed to do about this? Love Jesus? Should we run to the judge and tell him to love Jesus? Is that going to fix things? Just love Jesus, y'all. That's the answer for all of our problems. Just love Jesus. Meanwhile... We're just getting smashed in from every fucking angle. Just love Jesus, right? No, stop it. Uh, Y'all, we're the Israelites. And this whole video, simply, once again, is just reinforcing that, that sentiment. We've won the pain, the, the trials of suffering, the, the, the sport of losing, the Olympics of hell. You know what, man, y'all? My dad, I was talking with my dad the other day, man. He's, man, boy, he, he said, nigga, he... <laughs> <laughs> he used the phrase uh, we're, we're talking about Some of the things uh, You know, going, went through in the past He was like, man, that shit was hell He was like, going through that shit was, was hell Alright, and now Did he mean a, a place of burning Fire underground? No, what he meant was What? Being in a particular lowly position For a period of time Is hellish It is a low estate And we the Israelites have found ourselves in hell in this low estate and you heathen you you want us oh so bad not to be the people but we are the people so let's let's finish yeah let's finish y'all these curses fit us y'all they pursued us wherever we went and it was going to be a what it was going to be a Sign. Let's go back. My Lord.
Oh, Lord. Oh, how we fucked up. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh shall thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And that which they did. They came upon us and they overtook thee, no matter where we've gone, no matter the time period. We've been getting effed off. Let me get um, that last one. Oh, you have by word and proverb pop up here again. Meaning what? We're being called by, by derogatory terms. Things that are not our true name or status. All right. Uh, yep. Once again, right here, verse 28. Uh, it's like 28 and 45 moreover all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever so we are still in this estate these curses are on us for a sign and on our seed until uh shiloh returns you know that's that's the forever until this time is up until he returns and redeems us that's the reality of the situation and so we don't need anyone's permission to be israelites we are the israelites all right we give all praises to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone peace blessings